Humans aren't the only ones who love their treats, so do our four-legged friends. I love to make this recipe for pups in my life to give them a little home-baked love and also to make sure that their owners know that they're getting an all-natural treat. These are so easy to make and most dogs go crazy for them. Plus, it gives you an excuse to buy cute cookie cutters, so there's that. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to bark some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, add two cups of whole wheat flour. Use a different flour if your dog is wheat sensitive. One cup quick cook oats. One third cup smooth peanut butter. And I used a beef bouillon cube added to one and a quarter cups of hot water for broth to add to the bowl. Stir until combined. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface. Divide the dough in half and work in some flour if the dough is sticky. Roll the dough flat to about a quarter inch thick, making sure to sprinkle with flour and turn so it doesn't stick. When it's rolled out, it's time for fun shapes. I have a large German Shepherd, a Dachshund, and a bone cookie cutter. Dip the cutters in flour and lightly press into the dough. Pull the shape away from the dough and place onto a lined cookie sheet. It's optional, but if you'd like the end results to look less dry, brush some egg wash onto the cookies before they go into the oven. Egg wash is just one egg beaten with about a tablespoon of water mixed together. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. If you're able, let them sit in the oven overnight to harden up. If you need them sooner, after the initial baking time, turn the oven to the warm setting and bake for two hours to harden. Let cool completely. Because there are no preservatives, keep the treats in an airtight container for one week on the counter and two to three weeks in the fridge, or frozen for up to three months. These make the perfect snack for your best four-legged friend. Be prepared for them to be extra loving so they can be rewarded with these. Because after all, the only thing missing from their treats before was they weren't baked with your love. Your dog told me to say that. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more baking magic straight from Mrs. Kringle's kitchen.